What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lama C here, and today we're going to talk about scamming. Sorry, we've been having a little bit of fun in the chat, so we're in a, a good mood right now. Now, some of you might get scammed in the future. I'm sure many of you have been scammed in the past, especially if you're a Diablo 2 veteran. There has been a variety of scams over the years that have come and gone, and uh, we'll go ahead and talk about the ones that exist today and ways that you can make yourself unscammable. Scam proof, any of those things. Now, the first thing is if somebody named Mr. Lama SC comes into your game and says, Hello, I'm Mr. Lama SC, and tries to do some sort of dealing with you as Mr. Lama SC, or BT Neanderthal, or Dabrunsky125, or 3 Moth, or any of the content creators of Diablo 2, you should be skeptical and first make sure that they are actually who they said they were. You want to go and check out their stream and see if they're streaming, as most of the time they will be. Um, or you want to get some verification through Discord or whatever. And the reason is because now names are not unique. So I can be Mr. Lama SC, you can be Mr. Lama SC, and so can somebody else. Lots of people can all be Mr. Lama SC, and so you have to be very careful about that. That is number one. Number two, and this is probably the most common scam that you're going to see, is some sort of swap item scam. And it happens in a couple of ways. The first way is as simple as this. They come up and they approach you and they say, hello, I have a Shaco for trade. And the person says, okay, I'll give you a Mal rune. I can't carry anymore. Perfect. I that seems great. Oh, hold on. I'm overburdened. One second. Doot, 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 doot. Okay, I've got it all figured out now. We're good to go. And then they go here, and they immediately press the check button. And oopsie daisies, you just traded your Malrune for a uh, random cap with a emerald in it. Wait, give it back. I've been scammed. This is a very common scam. You can see the green color is actually slightly different now, so it has changed a little bit. Um, but this was done with Tal's armor and Rattle Cage. This was done with Shaco and a gemmed cap. Whatever it is, um, the fake Shaco is a common one. Additionally, you might see the person do something like this, where when they accept the trade, they go like this, and they kind of like bounce it around, and then they switch it out, right? And they do that, and then they go for the trade, right? They kind of like just bounce it. And then they'll wait. And then, of course, the red, you know, takes a little bit. Blah, blah, blah. Is it still the same color in Legacy? No, it's actually a little darker in Legacy as well. And then they'll put it there and they'll do the trade and whatever. And the important thing, once, of, once again, is that you make sure you always check and see that the item is still the item that they said it was. Okay has to be perfect emerald. Is that going to be a different? The perfect gem actually matches? Wow. That'd be crazy if it actually does there. Um, so you have to make sure that it actually does. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get a cap. Let's check. Oh, it does. Uh, it's actually a little bit brighter, it feels like, almost. But it is a closer match. And in Classic, I mean, it's basically the same thing. You're not going to really note the difference. So, this is going to be a common scam, right? This is going to be the most common one that you'll probably see is people trying to just put this up. And they might not even put the shake up at first. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. But a lot of times, they'll just go into that trade... And you'll put your item up first, and the game name will be Shaco for Malrune. And you'll put the Malrune up, and they'll just do that and hit the trade button. And you'll just see that and be like, instinctually, it's green, it must be Shaco, and you'll accept the trade, and you won't even do it. So that right there is going to be the first, or the second one to avoid. The third one is going to be when somebody tells you, hey, go ahead and control left click an item so that I can see it in the chat. For instance, if you look right here, if I shift click an item, it should be shift, right? Oh, this is in this go to game. Shift click an item. You can see it actually puts the item right here in the chat. Okay? 
So this is very nice, a nice feature that they've added to the game where you can shift click items into the chat so people can see what they are. A lot of people will tell you it's control click. Hey, go ahead and control click those alders and it'll put it in the chat. But when you control click, it drops it to the ground. Do not control click items. You can control click them to move them back and forth between your stash and inventory. But if you are not in your stash or inventory, it will put them on the ground. So please be aware of that. If anybody tells you to control click anything, don't listen to them. Now, another scam that you'll see is people saying, hey, let's do drop on the ground to trade. And people will do stuff like, you go on this side of the wall, I go on that side of the wall, or out of town, they'll want to do it, right? So you go and drop your stuff right over here. My ho, you drop your stuff right here, and I'll drop my stuff uh, out here, okay? Right, like whatever it is. And they can just like teleport in and steal your stuff. Um, yeah, you never want to do the like drop item trades. People will find ways to uh, <laughs> to scam you with that. Nothing needs to be dropped to be traded in this game. Before, torches and annihiluses couldn't be traded in the window. So you actually had to do a drop trade where I drop my torch, you drop your torch, and we run over and grab each other's torches. That was a thing that literally had to exist. Uh, and then it just was a whole thing that was really annoying. Um you don't have to do that anymore, okay? That is no longer a thing. No item in the game needs to be dropped. In fact, if anybody tells you to drop an item for any reason, I know a dupe method. I know a way to make the item, you know, stronger. I can, this is the best way to trade it. You need to show me that I need to trust you with that. Whatever, don't do it. It's a scam. Literally just leave the, the game. It's not worth your time. Going with the trusting, you'll actually get that as well, which is another scam. And it's this whole, I trust you, you trust me, I trust you, let's give each other stuff back and forth. So you'll go in and they'll give you something small. They'll give you like, oh, I'll give you this, you know, war traves. And then you are supposed to give them back more. You give them war traves and a shako. And then they give you shako and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, we're showing that we trust each other so I can dupe this for you or whatever it is. It always ends up with them taking your gear and running away. It's always a scam. I promise you, don't give your stuff to people. They don't have the dupe method. They don't have any of that. It's just a scam. Continuing on, if anybody tells you to go to a link, it is a scam. Never go to a link that anybody gives you. Never let them send you an application or a program or anything where you're going to download something. It is a scam. I don't know if they've brought it into D2R yet, but in Diablo 2, you any of those things that you would click on, it would open up your game, drop all your stuff, and make you leave the game. All right? I don't know if that's here yet. But I promise somebody will get something that will come over here and take over your computer and do the exact same thing in D2R pretty soon. Additionally, then they'll tell you, hey, do you want all your stuff back? Here is uh, the link to the thing so you can scam other people. But then that thing will also just scam you again because it'll get like it'll be a key logger or whatever it is. And they'll get all your information and log into your, you know, it's just a further scam. Don't. Don't click the links. Don't download the stuff. You're just going to get scammed. I promise. Avoid that stuff. Stick to the great sites like MrLamaSC.com and YouTube.com slash MrLamaSC and the sites that we know are A-OK. -okay. Now, a further scam, and I'm not sure how this is existing or if it's existing. I was trying to test it and chat is just kind of a mess right now. But slash D&D &D is slash do not disturb. The way it worked in the old time or in legacy is if you type slash D and D space anything, whatever you put there is the message somebody will get when they message you. So you could put slash D and D space. Hey, I'm busy for the next 20 minutes. I can't talk right now. And if somebody tries to whisper you, it says, Hey, I'm busy for the next 20 minutes. I can't talk right now. 
people will tell you to type slash Andy space your account name space your password. And then, of course, you do that. They whisper you. It gives them your account name and password, and you're good to go. All right. This is a very common scam that people would fall for because they would just see and they'd be like, oh, okay, like it's not going to them. I'm not whispering them the name and password. This was how you joined the clan or whatever it was. Always, always a scam, okay? You should never have to give your password out, ever. This is true for like literally anything, but in Diablo 2, Blizzard supports not hitting you up and being like, hey, what's your password? Like anything where they want your password or type your password in somewhere, it's a scam. Don't do it. Uh, Moving on, there is the scam of unidentified. And it's good to know your bases and it's good to know identification in general. So the first thing, if somebody says, I have an unidentified SOJ or Mara's amulet, they can't know that. Those are unique rings and amulets that are unidentified and can be any of them. So that's not a real thing. Until it's identified, it's not real. Now, there are real unit uh, things that have value. Somebody might be like, hey, I have an unidentified crown of ages for sale or something. And that's where they're giving you the option to roll or an unidentified torch or something like that. And that's where they're giving you the option to roll. But what if somebody comes up and says, hey... I have an unidentified Griffins for you. And you go, wow, a Griffins? That's amazing. I'll take that for a Malrune. Well, you played yourself because a Tiara is a Kira's Guardian and not a Griffins. So a Griffins is a unique diadem. This is where you need to know what the bases are for each of the items, or at least for the specific item that you're hunting for. Because if somebody shows you this tiara, or shows you that, and says it's a griffins, you need to think, is this actually what the base is, or are they trying to scam me? People will do that, right? Additionally, you're going to have this with items that can have multiple bases and things like that. For instance, an unidentified Nightwings is only a 50% chance to be a Nightwings. It could also be a Veil of Steel, which is pretty worthless, right? An unidentified Tyrael's Might could also be a Templar's Might, right? There's, there's many items in the game that have multiple versions. And so once again, if you are looking for specific, unique items that, you know, you want, double check that the base can't be one or the other of an item because otherwise unidentified it doesn't make sense to go for it because then it's not actually going to be it continuing forward um the last scam that i want to talk about is the body popping scam and this comes in a variety of ways but essentially if anybody tells you that there is some sort of dupe method or anything where you have to die and have your corpse and then either have new items on your other corpse or you need to die so many times or whatever it is, it's a scam. What's eventually going to happen is all of your items are going to pop off of your body and you're going to be screwed. Okay, so there's kind of a variety of things with this. Um, Like I said, Putting on multiple gear so you have multiple gear sets on your body is a no-no. If you're naked, you only want to go and get your body that has gear. Gearing up with a second set of gear is always bad because if you leave the game and you have or if it crashes or whatever and you had two bodies with gear on them, one of those bodies is disappearing. All right. And it's based on the gold value, I believe, of the body. So if one body had more gold value worth than the other even if it's like garbage stuff, but it's just like high gold value, then that's the body that'll stick around. And so you're not going to know which one, you know, it's not going to know and you're going to get that. Uh, But additionally, you can have that where they can kill your body with that and make it pop. Or like I said, if they kill your body, and I think it's like once you have like 16 corpses or 21 corpses or something like that, um, Ultimately, all of the all of the gear can pop off the character as well. If you're if if anybody tries to have you do stuff 
with your dead body, don't do it. Just don't, don't do it. Once again, it's a scam. I'm just exhausted. There's so many ways that I've been scammed in this game. I've fallen for every single one of these, by the way, as a 10-year-old kid who was eager to uh, get rich and make friends. Um, don't do it. Just don't do it. This is how we, this is, I've been through all of it. So I, I know these. Um, and like I said, now there's the couple more because now we have the control click scam as well, which is another one. So all sorts of fun. Uh, yeah. Good luck out there. Don't get scammed. If it smells fishy, it's probably a scam. <laughs> um, be careful, everybody. Mwah. Thanks for watching. Would love to hear your thoughts and feedback down below. If you had any other scams that have appeared in D2R, let me know. And uh, yeah, peace, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe.